Hey guys, let's talk about this next chapter. This next chapter is referred to as sampling distribution. And what sampling distribution is kept from collecting data, whether it's the, the average mean or the um, probability or the, uh, the standard deviation of a particular um, sampling. So if I'm talking about three different classrooms, I'm looking at the class grade point average of my class versus the class grade point average of another teacher's class, and then a third person. And then after we get the grade point averages of ours separately, we list them, and we'll, as we go on, we'll see the different ways of how they look. Okay, and as we consider a sampling distribution, like I said, it's data from a large number of samples, so with that being said, we've got to come up with some new language for our statistics. So as I look at this here, Okay, our objective is going to be to distinguish the difference between a parameter and statistics. So the question should be, well, what is a parameter and what is a statistic? So looking at, first of all, a parameter. A parameter is another way of saying population right now. And as we say um, here, specifically, it's a number that describes something about a population. So there's something about the big picture, because remember the population is the big picture. And when I say a number, let me be a little bit more specific. We're talking about potentially the population mean. Or we're looking at here the variance. Or we're looking at the standard deviation of the population. All of these are notations that I use for parameters, because the parameters are always about the population. Now, as we look at this, what is a statistic? Well, a statistic is a similar idea, except it describes data that comes from the sample. So here, a statistic, information comes from the sample. And remember, the sample comes from the population. So here, the sample is the little pictures and little pictures, plural, because we just talked about the idea of sampling distribution, so we're talking about a lot of little samples. But when you hear the word statistic, you're going to have to now calibrate yourself that statistic, what does that mean, what does that mean? Oh, yeah, huh, that means that it's the same as the sample stuff that we've done in the past. Parameter, what does that mean, what does that mean? Population. So here you can see P for parameter, P for population, S for sample, S for statistic, excuse me, S for sample. And as we look at notation, well, let's think about it. Here, this is what we used when it was the mean. Okay, here, this is what we used when it was the, the um, variance. And this is of the sample. This is of sample. And what else? Standard deviation, of course, of the sample. And something we have to get used to that you haven't seen before, but you will see, is the idea of p hat. p hat is the proportion of the sample. So as I consider what is the difference between the parameter and a statistic, remember the parameter is information coming from the population. Statistic is information that comes from the sample. So as I talk about parameter, let's talk about I'm talking about all Etiwanda students. Let's say I'm asking about the grade point averages of the entire population of Etiwanda students. Well that would be parameter. But then when I talk about um, the grade point averages of, let's say, my students, because my students is one sample of the entire population of Etiwanda students, that information would be the statistic. So let's look here and read over this information, and let's get ready to answer it. So my question here 
is given the scenario, what is the population, and what is the parameter. Our population here is going to be the individuals in the U.S. household, so all the individuals in the U.S. households. And our parameter, our parameter is a percent specifically. And then as I get into more specifics about that, it's the percentage here of the U.S. populations who were employed. Now, as I look at the sample and the statistic, please notice I can get a little bit more specific. So here, this is the 60,000 individuals from the, well, the individuals that come from that 60,000 um, household. And the statistic is the percent, the specific percent, let me say here specific, percent that were unemployed. Okay, now let's turn to the next page. So as you look at the population, here we have all of the gas stations in the city. Because remember, that's the big picture. And the parameter are the gas prices themselves, a specific gas price. So as we look at the sample, here we can see the sample specifically is the random sample of 10. And the statistics is the specific information about the random sample that we're looking at, which is the price range specifically of 25%. Okay, so here as we look at this and make a determination on what is the parameter and what is the statistic. So remember that the parameter is the big picture. So as, we, as you've read over this. Okay, so as I was saying, and I truly don't remember what I was saying. Anyway, so here, remember the parameter is the big picture. So that is going to be 0.41. And the reason it's the 41% is because it's talking about all of the voters in the state that are democratic. But as we look at the other thing that they're asking for is a statistic. Remember the statistic is the small picture in which here we're just looking at 33% of the samples. And notice P hat, which is new. Okay. Lastly, as you read over problem number six, so pause. Now, since you're back, we're looking at the, we have a random sample of college students has a mean of 64.5, which is greater than the mean of all. So here's the mean of all, and that is going to be your parameter. Okay, and the statistic is the little picture. Remember, we're talking about a random sample here of that mean height, which is 64.5. So this is the little picture. This is the small group. And we will finish this tomorrow in class.